I'm Deborah Gill, and here's today's Fox 12 News update. Portland police have identified the victims of a deadly crash on the Glen Jackson Bridge. They say the car driven by 70-year-old Cecilia Howe of Vancouver collided head-on with 21-year-old Messiah Smith last month. Both drivers died in that crash. No word yet on what led to the crash. It is Easter Sunday and many local restaurants are preparing for the holiday rush. Screen Door in Southeast Portland made to-go brunch boxes to help manage crowds and enforce COVID-19 safety protocols. They say they wish they could invite everyone to eat inside but hope to offer the experience to take home. Or lawmakers will talk tomorrow about changes to a bill proposing a tax hike on wine and beer to fund addiction recovery services. The bill would increase taxes on alcohol more than 20%. An increase many wine and beer makers say could put already struggling businesses under. Now here's meteorologist Jeff Forgeron with a forecast. A few spotty showers will be possible between the late morning and the early afternoon around the metro area. End of the day though, I'm expecting the clouds to clear out. Temperatures will max out in the upper 50s around the metro area. Uh, we could see some frost tomorrow morning with temperatures falling well into the 30s. Monday afternoon, we should top out around 60 with abundant sunshine. Tuesday could be even warmer. We'll make a run at 70 degrees. Wednesday, clouds will be on the increase. We'll dip back into the upper 50s and we have a chance of showers returning by Thursday. Deb. All right. Thanks, Jeff. For updates anytime, just download the Fox 12 app on your phone or tablet, or you can log on to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Fox 12.